how is this universe related to the absolute what's the relationship of this this universe which we experience to this absolute we are talking about brahman one second question i'm i'm sensing there is is this universe real it seems to be real and yet you seem to be saying that it's not real how is this universe related to that um are they separate the absolute brahman are they separate in this universe no they are not separate if they were separate notice what you what you call brahman brahm what brahman is brahman is being itself existence itself logically if, if you if there is such a thing which is existence itself and if you say something is separate from existence what will it become non existent yes something other than paper is not paper something other than human is inhuman something other than existing is non existing so if some if there is a universe apart from brahman you're literally saying if it is other than existing then it's a non existent universe so the universe cannot be apart from brahman just it's like saying can that wooden table be apart from wood no can the clay part be apart from the clay or the gold ornament be apart from the gold no all right this is one so it cannot be apart then what is the relationship is it the same as brahman no not quite literally the same as brahman no not quite because we don't really see anything as pure consciousness and bliss and all of that we see men and women and people suffering and struggling in life living beings non living beings a physical universe which does not seem to be very absolute or brahman like things are born and they change and they die and suffer all of these things are there so this universe is neither apart from brahman one nor exactly the same as brahman two if you say brahman is pure existence this universe is not other than existence but it's not pure existence also this thing not being you are unable to classify it as pure being or as non being this is in sanskrit called sat asad bhyam anirvachaniyam inability to express it as pure being or non being this is the classical definition of maya when you study advaita vedanta there will be a definition of maya so the term used there is anirvachaniya beyond speech but beyond speech in what sense you cannot express it as pure being you cannot express it as non being also if it was non being it would disappear but clearly it is there we are experiencing it it's not so difficult to understand also it seems too subtle not so difficult just take this example which we use all the time the wood and the table the table is not this one the, the lectern it's not apart from the wood it's not a separate thing if it were i could show it to you separately i showed you the clock and the paper separately but i cannot show you the table and the wood separately the moment i try to do that the table will disappear not the wood not the wood this is there but the table name and form will disappear if i if i try to separate it from the wood and yet if i say it's not separate from the wood but is it the wood itself no because there was a time when it was a tree it was not a table there was a time when it was a log of wood it was not a table and there will be a time when it will be kindling or wood splinters it won't be a table it continues to be wood throughout but not a table anymore so this table is neither other than the wood itself not exactly the same as wood itself it is sad asad bhyam anirvachaniyam or wood <laughs> not wood anirvachaniyam you, you cannot express it as wood itself you cannot express it as not wood the nature of the universe is like that according to advaita vedanta the non dualistic approach is the entire nature of the universe is indeterminate you cannot dismiss it as being no it's not there you cannot dismiss you cannot say it is the absolute reality no it is not obviously not an absolute reality things are impermanent things are subject to change things are subject people are subject to suffering there is evil all of this is experienced in the world how can it be the absolute reality 
so this indeterminate nature this is called another term for this in uh, vedanta one term is maya another term is mithya mithya means the false the false the word false has been misunderstood false does not mean non existence look at the difference between truth lie silence silence is no speech truth is correct speech or in sanskrit yatharta that means the uh, truth is is accurate it is real it is what is but what is a lie it's not silence the liar said something but it's not real either it's not the truth either it is a misrepresentation of the truth it's an appearance of the truth the word appearance always connotes that there is something behind it the real appears to be something else similarly brahman appears as this world so th- that is why in in vedanta this world the universe is called maya is called mithya is called an appearance now those who do not like this i don't want to call this world an appearance or or a false thing then vivekananda use another term higher truth and lower truth this world is the lower truth of which brahman is the higher truth they are not two separate things no more than the wood is separate from the table the table is the appearance of which wood is the substance the reality the universe is the appearance of which brahman is the substance the reality <laughs>